I know what you're expecting. The typical horror trope. Help me, help me, blah, blah, blah. I won't bore you with another. Even if I wanted your help, you couldn't give it to me. Because your help is useless. Why? Because you're not a member. I just wish that I wasn't either. It all started innocently enough. What a phone call. I've been cleaning up for a few hours. Unpacking and cleaning, waiting for the plumber to call. I just moved into a cabin and the contractors fucked everything up. Because of that, I now had the wonderful task of making calls to competent people that can fix what the original contractors broke. The phone rang at 12.06. Not bad, I thought. Usually plumbers don't bother to show up or call until 5. When I picked up the phone, I didn't even get a chance to say hello before a woman on the line told me to. Please hold for the next available operator. I hopped up and sat on the cabinet in the kitchen. It was one of the few places in the cabin not occupied with boxes. Elevator music leaked into my ear, and I started to drowse off when the music stopped and a piano chord that sounded like it was three notes that didn't quite go together played through the receiver twice. A voice came on the line. Welcome to Booth World Industries. My name is Samantha, and I will be your operator today. Name? I didn't know what to say, so I told the operator my name. Sir, we know who you are. I'm your operator. Please give me your name to access. I don't understand. It can be anyone, sir. We just need a name. Uh, okay, I said. I made up a name. Harold Withers? Sir, as your operator, I must point out that fictitious names or names of people that you don't know cannot be used. Used for what? I asked. How has she known that I made up that name? The whole thing felt like it was some sort of prank. But hardly anyone knew my new phone number. Remodeling. Remodeling? Is this the plumber? I asked. Welcome to Booth World Industries. My name is Samantha and I will be your operator today. Name? I took that as a yes and gave them the name of an old ex-girlfriend. Jessica Goodwin. I could hear the clicking of a keyboard on the other end of the phone. It sounded like the woman was pounding the thing with her fists. After a few moments of this, she returned. Jessica Goodwin. Remodeling is scheduled for August 21st, 2015. Would you like to reschedule? I was silent on my side of the phone. I couldn't believe this. Someone had to be playing a prank on me. Who is this? Is this you, Jessica? Are you playing a prank on me? I asked. The woman didn't respond for a long time. I thought that whoever was on the other end of the phone was holding in a laugh. Hello? Yes or no, sir. Yes? I said, not understanding what the woman was asking. I have a Tuesday appointment available. Will that work? At this point, I thought I was going insane and thought that it was actually the plumbing company. What about today? Do you have anything available for today? Normally we can't arrange for a reschedule on such short notice, but today we had a cancellation. How does 3 o'clock work for you? 3 o'clock is fine. 3 o'clock it is then. Would you like a courtesy call? Sure. Wonderful. We at Booth World Industries say thanks and welcome to the club. You have a marvelous day. That strange chord played twice again, and the line went dead. I rolled my eyes and went back to unpacking. My phone rang at 3 o'clock on the dot that afternoon. Hello? Sir, this is Samantha with Booth World Industries again. Your courtesy call begins now. What do you... I began to say, but was caught off by those diminished chords blaring into my ear. Then I heard Jessica's voice. Why are you doing this? Jessica? Sir, she cannot hear you. This is a courtesy call. The appointment has already concluded. Please, please don't do this. I'll do anything you want. I'll... Jessica's voice choked off into a wheeze, and all I could hear on the other end of the phone was the rustling of clothing and more wheezing. Eventually it stopped, as someone picked up on the other end. The scheduled work has been completed, a man's voice said. We at Booth World Industries say thanks and welcome to the club. You have a marvelous day. Sir? Was that to your satisfaction? I sat there for a long time, 
cold sweat dripping down my ribcage. Jessica was my ex. Because I walked in on her and my best friend fucking at a party in high school. I smiled and whispered. That was perfect. Wonderful. We at Booth World Industries aim to serve. Would you like to make another appointment? As I stared at the water leaking from the door of the dishwasher, I smiled even bigger. Yes. Yes, I would. Your name? Dan. I don't have a last name. He's a contractor. Dan Arnkevia, July 13th, 2032. And would you like to reschedule? Yes. How would Wednesday work for you? Didn't you say you had a Tuesday appointment available? I did, but unfortunately that slot has been filled by another member. Would Wednesday work for you? No, I have a job interview that day. What about Thursday? Unfortunately, Thursday will not work. You are due for remodeling Wednesday night. What? Unfortunately, Thursday will not work. You are due for remodeling Wednesday night. Can we reschedule my remodeling? Of course we can, sir. There's always a way. I waited for her to tell me how. She didn't speak. How? Booth World Industries is always looking to add new members. We are, of course, a membership by invitation club only. Sadly, our membership numbers have fallen in recent years. Economic, recessions, wars, politics. What we would like you to do in order to avoid your own remodeling appointment is help us add several new members. The light at the end of the tunnel, I thought. How many members do you need? 1,000. 1,000? Yes, sir. Otherwise, we'll have to keep our scheduled appointment. We must inform you that the member that scheduled this appointment did request a courtesy call. Everything stopped at that point for me. All my life, I just skated by, not doing anything. Not making a difference. My mouth actually dried up. I always thought that was just a thing people wrote in books to be dramatic. It's not. I'll get you your 1,000 members. We at Food World Industries say thanks and welcome to the club. You have a marvelous day. The connection ended. I hung up the phone and stared at it for a long time. I was scheduled for remodeling on Wednesday. And somewhere, someone will be getting a courtesy call to listen to my last few breaths if I don't get 1,000 members to join Booth World Industries. It's funny. I'd always wanted to join the Elite Club. Skull and Bones, New World Order. Not sure how I got in, but now I'm a member. I've got until Wednesday to enjoy it. Like I said at the beginning, even if I wanted your help, you couldn't give it to me. Because you're not a member. Membership is by invitation only. I'm inviting you in. You can help me. Just call 630-296-7536.